Agoracom Talks, your weekly go-to source for the best small cap headlines for over 65 million investors since 2007. Glad to be here. We're diving deep today into some breaking news from the small cap market, really cutting through the noise. That's right. We're looking at the headlines, the numbers, and what these updates truly mean for those of you considering where to uh, conduct your deeper research. Expect a rapid fire rundown today. We've got gold, copper, even some cutting edge silicon news. Definitely a packed lineup. Okay, let's kick things off with HPQ, silicon, TSXV symbol, HPQ. HPQ, focusing on silicon anode materials. Yes. The headline, HPQ secures $3 million federal grant to accelerate silicon-based battery materials commercialization. This sounds like more than just funding. Oh, absolutely. It's a strategic endorsement. Okay. This $3 million in federal funding comes from Natural Resources Canada. Significant backing. It really is. It's specifically earmarked to speed up the commercialization of their proprietary silicon-based anode materials. These are key for next-gen lithium-ion batteries. So better batteries for EVs and storage. That's the goal. The funds will help them build their first 50 ton per year continuous production system. A pilot plant. The second. A tree commercial pilot, yes. If we connect this to the bigger picture, it positions HPQ as a potential Canadian leader in the global race for better battery tech. It definitely signals confidence in their technology from the government level. Exactly. It suggests their innovation is seen as important for Canada's role in the whole green energy transition. Okay, Goliath Resources. They trade on the TSXV under GOT. Yep, GOT. The headline is pretty bold. Goliath's golden triangle discovery keeps delivering high-grade gold. High-grade is definitely the term here, and this is where it gets really interesting. Tell us about the numbers. Okay, so new drilling at their Sherbet discovery delivered 18.58 grams of gold per metric ton across five meters. Wow, okay, 18.58 over five meters. And that's not all. Other intervals hit up to 30.95 grams over three meters. Almost 31 grams, that's significant. It absolutely is. Mm. What's really fascinating here, though, is there one 100% hit rate for finding quartz sulfide mineralization in all 25 holes drilled this year. 100%. 100%. And get this, 90% showed visible gold. You could actually see it. That kind of consistency is, well, it's pretty rare, isn't it? Extremely rare. Yeah. It strongly reinforces management's view that Sherbet is a large, continuous system. They're calling it potentially the most important grassroots high-grade gold discovery in the triangle since SK Creek. That's a huge Huge claim, but those numbers give it weight. Okay, staying in the Golden Triangle, let's turn to Kingfisher Metals. Yeah. TSXV symbol KFR. KFR. Their headline: Kingfisher Metals hits long copper gold intercept. Now, help us understand what makes an intercept long and why does that matter, especially with copper? Good question. Long here means consistent mineralization over a significant distance down the drill hole. HWU 250004 cut 557.8 meters, grading 0.64% copper equivalent, or CEQ. 557 meters, that's over half a kilometer. Exactly. Starting from 328 meters downhole, and that 0.64% key E converts all the metal values, copper, gold, silver, into a single copper percentage for comparison. Makes sense. And crucially, within that long intercept, there was a higher grade zone, 234.35 meters at 1.00% QEQ. Okay, so a richer section within the larger right, zone. Precisely. They've also traced bornite mineralization. That's a key copper mineral 140 meters deeper than they knew it went before. And connecting this to the bigger picture, copper demand. Absolutely. With copper demand rising sharply for EVs, renewables, grid upgrades, these long consistent intercepts are very compelling. They suggest a potentially large deposit. Definitely something investors watch. All right, next up, Brixton Metals, TSXV symbol BBB. BBB, yes. Headline. Brixton Metals expands near-surface gold at Trapper Target. Near-surface often sounds good and flies maybe lower costs. That's often the potential advantage, yeah. Lower stripping ratios, easier access. What's fascinating here are the results. 29 meters grading 1.75 grams per ton gold and 5.72 grams per ton silver. And that's from just 72.5 meters depth. Exactly. Pretty shallow. And within that interval, they hit a sweeter spot. 7.5 meters of 3.04 grams per ton gold. So decent grades close to surface. Does near surface limit the size potential though? Not necessarily. The key thing here is they say the system remains open in multiple directions. Meaning it could get bigger. It suggests room for expansion, yes. It's yeah. not closed off yet. Given the global appetite for gold, accessible ounces like these are always attractive. Makes sense. Okay, let's hop across the Atlantic now to Spain. 
Pan Global Resources, trading as PGZ on the TSXV. Their headline, Pan Global expands near-surface gold discovery at Carmina's project in Spain, another near-surface discovery. What stands out here? This one's a great example of uh, compelling discovery potential unfolding. Whole PVD-06 returned 34 meters, creating 3.01 grams per ton gold. 34 meters at three grams. Solid, very solid, starting from 131 meters down hole. But inside that, there was a stunning five meters grading 8.93 grams per ton gold. Wow, nearly nine grams over five meters. And some sub-intervals within that hit up into 17.6 grams per ton gold. Okay, that's high grade. Definitely. This is their highest grade gold intercept at this specific target, Providencia, so far. It significantly extends the known mineralization. And it's not just gold, right? Correct. The project also shows potential for copper, cobalt, and nickel. That polymetallic nature broadens its economic potential, especially with the demand for various critical minerals. Good context. So wrapping this up, what does this all mean for you, our listeners? We've covered high-grade gold with amazing consistency. Long copper intercepts crucial for electrification. Near-surface gold expansion. And strategic funding for next-generation battery materials. These headlines represent significant milestones, real tangible results in the small cap world. Indeed. These are the kinds of numbers and strategic moves that provide you know, a solid foundation if you're looking to do deeper due diligence. So the question for you now is, which of these critical developments in gold, copper, or silicon will you explore further? Especially as the world keeps shifting towards electrification and needs secure resource supplies. Lots to think about.